gentlemen. Ah, now she started. All right. Um, what's going on, guys? We're out here uh, trapping a beaver hut. It's right over there, that little pile of sticks over there where the snow ain't. And I already went over there and tore it out pretty good. And yeah, we're just out here today setting traps. Fell in over there and over there. And I got my waders on, thank goodness, but it's, it's pretty cold. But we're about to go set some traps. All right, guys. Um, I'm having Steve film, me, film for me. But we saw this little run where they had broken up the ice before and it wasn't froze real, real great. And you can see a run where they're coming up in the bank. I have my foot in there right now, actually. And they're living up in right in here. So I'm going to set a, a trip in there. This is a Duke number five size. It's like this is. I thought they were just for uh, coyotes until just recently, but um, found out like last night that these are what you want for beavers. Oh, feet are stuck in the mud. I set number threes out here for them last time, and I got one in there, but he pulled his foot right out. So now I'm going to set this number five in this little run, see if I can't get one. Yeah, buddy. Oh, fire out of here. Oh. Now I'm by no means a professional with this. I uh, actually this is my first time ever attempting to trap beavers, other than the other day when we came out here. All I know is that. They're a lot bigger than I thought, and they destroy everything, so. Now, I know that you're supposed to have like a kill pole and stuff in here, a drown pole or something, but I'm not entirely sure how to do all that. And we're supposed to freeze way more solid than uh, we are right now, so if that happens, then there's no point in having a drown pole because it's always just going to freeze up anyways. But I am going to stake it into the ground right up here and set this guy down in his hole real quick. <laughs> oh, they just started on this too. It's like really fresh. Oh yeah, he'll come in here and set his foot right in that, hopefully. Cut a stick real quick, stake it in. It is so stinking cold in here. I think keep getting stuck. Of course, that might be a muskrat. If so, then we won't get him in that trap because the trigger's too heavy. find something to stake it down with. I don't have metal stakes like a, I'm supposed to because I'm not a professional at this. Limbs off or cut off right here. Off 
<clears throat> so are we trying to like make a series out of this or yeah I'm maybe thinking maybe like a catch clean and cook yeah that's what I want to do That split. Oh, that hurt. It split and pinched the crap out of my <laughs> fingers. Oh. Then I want to give him plenty of room so we hopefully I don't need a kill pole or, or drown pole. He just kind of sits out there in the water and drowns himself. <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen, but if nothing else, he'll probably just come up here and eat this stick. That's why I need to get metal ones, but. Hopefully next video we'll have, we'll have metal ones. And yeah, I gave him plenty of room so hopefully he just rolls around the water there and drowns himself. I don't know how any of this stuff works but that's what I'm hoping for. On to the next one.